In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple fish food picker upper for whenever your fish don't finish their food at the bottom of their tank. If this is your first time here, my name is Brian. I do all kinds of freshwater fish keeping videos. In this channel, I cover all sorts of things like DIY projects related to the aquarium hobby, along with giving you guys updates on my aquarium fish. So if you'd like to check it out, stay tuned and hit the subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. When it comes to pristine water quality, there's many different factors to kind of contribute to that. Is your filter strong enough? Are you doing enough water changes? 60%, 90%, 50%, 10%. But the leading contributor to bad water quality is fish food. And uneaten fish food for the most part, that's just sitting in the bottom of your tank or it's been sucked up from your filters and whatnot. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple and easy fish food picker upper for whenever your fish don't finish their food. So for me, I keep a group of polypters. So uneven foods and whatnot is very rare unless they're extremely full. On top of that, I keep a pair of geos in here. So they're just cleaning up everything. But if you keep specific types of fish like payara, for example, freshwater barracudas, all of that, you might have some food at the bottom that your fish probably won't eat. Most of the times, whenever you're keeping these types of fish, specifically piscivore, like kerosens and whatnot, They'll eat the food as it's like floating or falling down towards the ground. But once it hits the ground, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they won't touch it. So this video might be for you because if I didn't have my bikers in my tank when I had my Pyra, I would probably be searching for the same type of solution. Oh, P.S. This is only for sinking pellet foods or like any kind of sinking food. If you're looking for something for like floaty or whatnot, I made a DIY floating feeding ring or whatever. And I'll link it like right here or like right here. So... Let's go ahead and cut this camera back on when we have all the supplies. First, what you're gonna need is a PVC end cap. Second is the actual PVC pipe itself. And the size I'm using is a half inch. Go ahead and get your cap and cap off one end of the PVC. Go ahead and grab your trusty drill. You're gonna to wanna to mark off where you think your thumb or index finger is gonna be comfortable at. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be drilling a hole either here or here. So wherever you feel comfortable, that's where you're gonna be drilling the hole. The hole doesn't have to be too big. Something like this is perfectly fine. Just so you can put your finger over the hole. So now we're pretty much done. We got the end cap, we got the hole, and then we got the PVC pipe. And I'll go ahead and show you how to use this for your aquarium. So the concept for this is pretty much like whenever you get a straw, cap off one end, put it into a cup, and let go immediately. Water squirts out. This is pretty much what we're using this for. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example of how I use a tool like this to pick up uneaten food at the bottom of the aquarium. Okay, so focus on that piece of food right there. That's my target and I wanna get it out. This is pretty much how the tool works. Hover on top, gone. So let me go ahead and give you an example from up here. Whatever you do, make sure you press onto this hole before you enter it into the water. Into the pipe. Let go. As you can see, you've captured your piece of food right there. Pretty much what we're doing is we're trapping air within the PVC by using our finger to cover this hole and then putting the food in range of this area right here. And then once it's here, you let go of the hole and it'll just suck in all the water or whatever that's in this area and you'll pretty much have it captured. And then at that point, you pretty much just lift the pipe into like a net or a cup and you'll have your food captured right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my polys eat that and uh, enough messing with them. But I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to deal with uneaten foods and taking out fish poop and whatnot. This is my fish food, fish poop picker rubber. It's pretty simple, uh, it's easy to clean. When I used to use nets and stuff to take out fish food and whatnot, I would scoop it in, I would scoop up sand, uh, it would stress the fish out, whatever. Because this looks really, really intimidating compared to this. And I found it a lot easier for me to pick up fish food with the tube compared to this because a lot of times when pellets break down, uh, it'll fall through the little holes and crevices of the net. And it's just way easier to pick up fish food with this. So yeah, guys, it's pretty easy. It's just a PVC pipe, PVC end cap, and a hole for your thumb or index finger to trap in air and release air. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys use this little tool to keep your water quality pristine. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button because all these little DIY projects, kind of, they pretty much come out of nowhere. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And peace, guys. Yeah.